Hi, it's Connor Svensson, founder and CEO of Web3 Labs, and this is your week in DeFi on Monday, the 8th of November, 2021. This week's key events include the Goldfinch KYC NFT, Aave's cross-chain layer two ambitions, Chainlink's total value serviced is now over $75 billion, and an Alliance Block and Flare announce a partnership. The assets locked in DeFi finished the week up 11% at just shy of $207 billion. So a DeFi lending hub called Goldfinch, they're planning to combine NFTs and user IDs for investors. So what they're looking at is using it to satisfy KYC or know your customer requirements. So Goldfinch is an unsecured loan protocol that works on top of Ethereum. And what they've got is this offering called Unique Identity. And the idea is, is that people can use this to perform KYC and anti-money laundering checks. And so they do this using a tra traditional uh, identity verification firm called Persona, but then once the verification has been done, they have a KYC approved identity that lives on the blockchain as an NFT basically. So this is an area that we're likely to see a lot more happening in, in the coming weeks and months because KYC and AML are absolutely essential in today's modern financial infrastructure because any, any organization or individual, they need to be able to prove that if they're borrowing funds or when they're transacting in a financial capacity, that this isn't being done to finance terrorism or you know other sort of bad things, basically. And so one of the really powerful notions here is that someone can undertake KYC. And if they have this KYC identity, that can be used again and again on multiple services, as long as the company that's provided the KYC service is you know, seen as valid to these other organizations that are working with it. So it's not something that at this point in time really could have a fully decentralized approach to. You need to be able to use a trusted KYC and AML provider here. So it's uh, it's, it's definitely one of those things we're likely to see a lot more traction happening. But um, you know, it, it's good that uh, there's, there's actually been some progress here because it's something that people have been talking about for a while. The blockchain tech firms Alliance Block and Flare are working together to actually expand their DK DeFi ecosystems. So Alliance Block uh, is a uh a blockchain company trying to bridge the gap between uh, DeFi and CeFi or you know, traditional centralized finance. And they've uh, announced this partnership with Flare. Flare is a layer one blockchain protocol that's apparently can bring smart contracts to a number of different cryptocurrencies like Ripple, Doge, Bitcoin, Algorand, and Stellar. Uh, it also provides though a decentralized Oracle networks as well to bridge the gap with real world data. And Alliance Block has got its own cross-chain interoperability solution. And decentralized exchange there so the intent really is that you know it's a meeting of minds and they they want to you know bring these two things together just to create you know more DeFi ecosystems on these protocols that don't natively support smart contracts which are those we spoke about earlier but also just you know provide the flexibility to actually trade and transfer assets onto them as well. Another partnership that's been announced is between Panther Protocol and Supra. And so what they're looking to do, again, it's to advance the DeFi industry. The intent here is that uh, they'll create a private DeFi ecosystem that has cross-chain functionality here. So Supra Oracles, they have a Oracle tool set for people to create real-time data applications. And what Panther Protocol do is they've got a prove a verifier mechanism, which is uh, basically a technology for doing these zero knowledge attestations, i.e. being able to prove that something's happened without actually having to provide all the details of exactly what it is that happened as such. Aave, they've started to tease their cross-chain layer two ambitions in their V3 update that they've uh, published. So what they're looking to do apparently here is create the next generation layer zero DeFi protocol. So they're very focused on improving the user experience, capital efficiency and security. And so some of the things that have come out of this is support for a number of layer two networks on Ethereum. Uh, they also want to provide cross-chain support as well. So they've got something called Portal that will allow people to move assets between Aave and different networks, including Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, and Phantom. They've also announced what they call a high efficiency mode that will allow users to get the highest borrowing rates and yield generation. And so what's very interesting with these announcements is, of course, one of them is that they're reducing friction for the platform, enabling to give people better yields. But another, another key part here is that 
that they're looking to support other chains as well. So you see, say, Solana in the mix there, and Solana is certainly getting a lot of traction too, and a lot of people are you know, look, looking at the opportunities that it's provides. So are they you know, seeing ways to actually provide their services there? It's, it's a very smart move because it just continues to strengthen their position as uh, the, the, the number one decentralized lending platform. The total value secured, or TVS, which is a new acronym to me, uh, so by their Chainlink network has officially gone over the 75 billion dollar marks which is a new milestone for them so now it the, apparently they're one of the most value securing forms of decentralized consensus on the planet according to their one of their co-founders sergey nazarov Chainlink, uh, they they're the leading oracle provider so providing data from the real world to the decentralized world and it's one of the key building blocks for a lot of DeFi there so to actually have some metrics about the value secured there is is, is certainly helpful that's all we have for our, our DeFi update this week if you're interested in the key events across enterprise blockchain and protocols crypto or nfts do check out our other week in blockchain episodes as well and if you want to learn more about the people behind the scenes driving a lot of these innovations do check out our blockchain innovators podcast where i speak to individuals who've made significant contributions to the blockchain ecosystem find out what inspires them get their latest thoughts on the latest industry news and events spanning crypto enterprise protocols DeFi, nfts and DAOs. thanks and i'll see you next week